Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be going over the top five Google extensions that you need to install right after watching this video. These are gonna range from being able to grow your YouTube channel to making your life more efficient and productive and even saving you some money. So if you're into those kinds of things, then keep watching this video. Anyways, let's get right into it with number one being TubeBuddy and vidIQ. You can't go wrong with either of these. We actually have both of them installed on our browsers and they're both really good at what they specialize in. On TubeBuddy, they have a legendary plan and this is where you can A-B test all of your titles and thumbnails Nails. This is something that we use almost every time that we upload a YouTube video and it really allows us to maximize the outreach and the click-through rate. It's also really good for getting high rank tags for your videos SEO. So if you're making evergreen content that people are searching for over time, then TubeBuddy is definitely going to come in handy when it comes to adding tags on your videos. The free version is also super helpful because with this, you can actually go onto other people's videos and see their tags. You'll also see their SEO score, but you won't be able to see the tags specific to your video without having one of the premium plans. This can be pretty expensive especially if you go with something like the legendary plan. But in our opinion, it's totally worth it, especially if you're seriously trying to grow on YouTube because just with the A-B testing feature, it's well worth the cost. We have other videos on this channel that will teach you how to use TubeBuddy. So if you're interested in that, we'll leave a link down below. But yeah, with vidIQ, it's pretty much the same thing, except it's a lot better at coming up with video title ideas, as well as being able to do a lot of market research. It's also really affordable. You can get started for just $1 if you guys use our link down below. So with how cheap it is, it's definitely worth trying if you're really trying to grow on YouTube. They have an AI assistant where it's basically like a YouTube coach that can tell you about your YouTube channel and it can give you really good ideas on video titles, thumbnails, pretty much anything that you want to ask on YouTube, you can ask vidIQ. All right, the next extension on the list is Grammarly, specifically Grammarly Pro. And guys, this is going to save you so much time whenever you're writing something online. If you guys didn't know, this is an extension that will automatically rewrite any misspelled words and it will also give you suggestions in terms of grammar as well as the clarity of your speech. Now, it's perfectly fine to have have the free version for all the features that I just talked about. But I think that the pro plan is definitely worth the cost because instead of words being rewritten, it's going to automatically rewrite all of your sentences. So this is great because you don't have to worry about all the punctuation and the grammar and the spelling. Grammarly is just going to be able to do everything for you. And so you can essentially brain vomit onto your keyboard and Grammarly Pro will make sure that you sound correct. This extension has probably saved me countless hours of my time. I would say that it's definitely worth the cost for you to upgrade to Grammarly Pro. It's also really helpful if you have a VA or a scriptwriter overseas who isn't very fluent in English because they could use your Grammarly Pro account and be able to write really professional sentences. So yeah, this is a huge convenience when it comes to typing things out. I highly recommend that you guys at least get the free version. Okay, the next extension on this list is the Pomodoro Timer. And this is a great extension for productivity because this is basically gonna set a time limit for anything that you're doing. It also breaks it into smaller pieces so that it's not as intimidating. Now, if you don't know what this is, it's a scientific technique where you give yourself a short amount of time to do something. And so this really allows allows you to focus on that specific task. And then afterwards, you can take a five to 10 minute break. So this really allows you to focus in on whatever you're doing. For example, you could set a timer for 30 minutes and then afterwards take a five to 10 minute break. And so inside of that 30 minutes, you're working super hard and you're focusing on that one task that you're doing. Or if you have a bigger project, what you could do is split it up into different pieces that are 30 minutes at a time. And so this is gonna allow you to tackle the project a lot easier instead of looking at it as a project that is gonna take hours to finish. This is great for people that work well under pressure because time limit is definitely going to push you. It's also good for people that get distracted really easily like me because it really forces you to focus. It's even better if you get something like a kitchen timer to pair with this. And so this is basically a digital timer that you can put in front of you as a visual countdown. I highly recommend giving this one a try and messing around with some of the time limits. This obviously depends on what you do for work. So some people can do with 30 minutes and some people need a longer work period. So yeah, I highly recommend just messing with it and then figure out what is best for you. Next up on the list, we have Rakuten. And this is a a great extension that you can use to get cash back every time that you shop online. They integrate with a bunch of different big store brands that most people shop on. So if you're going to spend money on those platforms anyways, you might as well get some cash back. The best thing about this extension is that it's automatic, so you don't have to do anything. And it's also going to automatically see whenever there's an item that you're looking at that's listed at a lower price somewhere else. So how it works is those stores will actually pay Rakuten a commission for sending you to their store. And as a result, they take some of that money and they send it to you through PayPal or a check. So overall, this is a no-brainer if you shop online. It's going to allow you to get cash back on your purchases without you having to think about it. Okay, the last extension that I want to talk about is ClickUp. And this is another great extension for productivity because if you don't know what ClickUp is, it's a project management platform very similar to Notion, Asana, or Monday.com. It's the platform that we use to manage all of our businesses. So we highly recommend that you guys try it out as well. And with this, you can create tasks, track time, take screenshots, attach emails, clip stuff from any website, and save notes super easily and conveniently for 
your extension. So let's say for example, you find a website and you wanna add it to a ClickUp task. Well, you could do that within one click using the extension. Or if you're just browsing through the internet and you come up with a really good idea, you could just open up the ClickUp notes through the extension and then write them down so that you don't forget. Those are the two biggest features that you can use this for and it all integrates into your ClickUp. So yeah, if you use ClickUp for your business, I highly recommend checking it out. Or if you use something like Notion, I know they also have a good extension for theirs. But yeah, those are the top five Google extensions that you need right now. If you're interested in any of the Chrome extensions that we talked about today, we'll leave links down below for you guys to check them out. Yeah, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please be sure to like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Here on this channel, we make a lot of how-to guides and tutorials just like this. So yeah, subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on any new videos. Anyways, that's all I have for you today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.